is IQ Basic Training, Lesson 229, Line and Triangle. We're getting kind of messy. Let's see if we've got a cleaner. Okay, let's start here. Um, I always like to start with my controls. Now, let's click on the Line tool. Pretty straight up. Once again, it defaults to a lousy color. Let's pick something that's nice. And it always defaults to the smallest size creating a simple line. And we've got a graph, that helps. But now, if we can remember, we also have our edit button. We can undo things and redo them. But I want to use the select tool. And, all right, let's drag across it. Now we've got it, look. We can change the length, change the direction, and it also gives us a few other choices. We can change the color. And we can change the line size. We can do this individually, or if we use that select tool and grab two of them at once, now we can manipulate both of them as one common object. But because they were drawn differently, we don't have those individual other tools. Now, let's see if we right-click it. Selection tool. Oh, this is our last tools we've used, but because we've got two completely different objects, we cannot uh, manipulate them the way I wanted to. All right, let's grab this triangle tool. All right, we create a triangle, and let's get some better colors. But first thing let's do is let's see what we can do with one item only. Select tool, let's grab this triangle. Um, and right click it. We know that we can change some of its properties. Copy shape. All right. Now let's right click here. Paste shape. We've got two of the same thing. Let's make this one a little bit smaller. Put it inside the other one. All right. Now these two have the same properties, but let's use that select tool again and let's grab both of them. Now let's right click and we have some abilities to do a few things to these. Changing them all to blue, changing the line types, and we have the ability to copy the shape. I don't know, paste shape, um, so whether it's a picture, hmm. Okay, so let's undo this step. Let's use the select tool to select all. Okay, that should select all. Now let's right click. All right, I forget where it was. Sometimes you're able to make them into a group. Um, those of you that are more graphically inclined, you can work on that more. <laughs> Another interesting thing would be whether or not we can, where it copies to. Let's see, copy shape. Let's see if that saved to our clipboard. Do I have a document? <laughs> I've got enough things open on my desktop. What a mess. I'm going to make a mess here, you guys. I'm sorry. Let's open up a document. Ah, We'll have to experiment that with that another day. I'm, I'm trying to do too much here. So anyway, that's it for the um, select tools. Remember that this group of these tools. Most of them behave the same way, so you will want to look at the whole series. That's Lesson 224 through 232, 233, something like that. And that's it for the Line tool and the Shape tool.